matchup. All right, so these two are both going in, and right now, that's Bobby an interesting option. Hit. Uh, yeah, he got the first hit, but that Luma was killed. Uh, like, uh, I was like, is that a rogue boost kick? But then I saw the Luma. I was like, oh, that makes more sense now. That's going to be interesting. We'll see. You know, there, There's a lot of different theory on how to go about fighting against Rosalina Luma. Most of it's stretching back. You know, My, my knowledge on it is stretched back to Smash 4. And a lot of it's about killing Luma and then kind of going in just because it mitigates the risk that you take. However, you know, we'll see if that holds true. I'd imagine it holds true this game, but we'll see what kind of tactical decisions, strategic decisions PL makes coming into this match. Okay, definitely. He did lose that Luma really early on, but it doesn't seem to be a problem for Wadi. Right. Putting on the pressure with 109% and going in for that edge guard. He's charging up for that climb for Zeus and Samus to come back. That's, uh, it looks like it's already a rough go of it for PL. Try, you know, it just kind of looks like every aerial that he's trying to throw out, Wadi's is stuffing it preemptively. With the you know, nares and back airs and neutral. They got the down air right there that time going above it. Yeah, it seems like the Zuzu Samus is really trying to go for that stun gun. Trying to land one there, but Wadi was able to finish it with his up tilt. Yeah, caught his hand in the cookie jar right there. He was trying to jab his shield. And I'm like, oh man, there's a Luma right there. I don't know about that. And Wadi made him pay for it. You know, and, and back in the day from the uh, Zero Suit matchup, Rosalina and Luma, I'm wondering if it might be to PL's advantage if he just tried playing this matchup backwards. And when I say backwards, like, instead of relying on neutral air, rely on back air to, uh, you know, to play the neutral game. It has the same, or a similar spacing properties, but it also has the chance of uh, killing, uh, you know, killing the Luma much more easily. But Definitely, and Zuzu Samus's back air is just so strong. Right. And speaking of back airs, got has him in a position right now. Got to edge guard him. Uh, very good, very slippery from Wadi to get back. Wow, that recovery coming from Rodlin and Luma. Did you come back from so far from the platform? Look yeah. at this, no problem coming back there. Yeah, and you know, when, when it comes to it, oh, there we go, good forward air to clear out Luma really quickly. Oh, but a bad trade off right now, he's got up smash. But that, yeah, that'll be interesting to see because, again, Rosalina and Luma, because there's no hitbox on the up special, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, questionable grab at neutral. I don't know about that one. Uh, Wadi at first, you know, is like, I'll take it. If you want to give it to me, I'll take it. All right, are we going to see a three stock match here, Lux? Uh, it's going to be close. Let's see if uh, PL has him off stage. Oh, clipped him. He's trying to charge that smash. Oh. A little, little miscue on Wadi's part, but, he'll, you know, he'll take it. He's up by so much that yeah, it, it doesn't matter at this point. He's got a comfortable lead. Mistakes happen, you shake it off. Again, and Zizu Samus, yeah, trying to go for that stun gun. Right. Did you see that, Lux? Just trying to make an opening here because Wadi's making it really tough with that Luma for him to come in. Yeah, it looks like all that uh, Senpai practice is paying off. <laughs> and PL kind of at a, at a lot. Oh, man, I almost had a, I almost tried to steal a kill right there, but the neutral guard came out and stuffed it. Almost got the neutral guard a flip kick for the zero suit. Not quite enough time. Well, and he was able to get that stun, but no punish coming from PL right there. Yeah, yeah. you can see he's changing up his neutral tactics. He's, oh, there's a back air. Not quite enough, but yeah, he, I saw him start going to Zare instead of neutral air. You know, there's something in anything that might separate Luma away from uh, Rosalina. Yeah, you're right, Lux. PL is going a lot more aggressive during this stock here. Really trying to get rid of that Luma early on so that we won't have to deal with it. Yeah, there's a down air. That's enough to kill, and there's the, you know, very comfortable Cruise control for Wadi taking the first game. <laughs> right there with Rosalina and Luma. Such an interesting matchup. Yeah, you don't see Rosalina's a lot, especially in top brackets. But I imagine with 2.0, we might start seeing more of them uh, come out. All those, you know, Rosalina and Luma's in waiting that are like, man, my character's, are my character's bad at 1.2. And all of a sudden, 2.0 happens like, oh, my character's <laughs> good now. Let's, uh, let's hit the tournament and see what happens. Oh, wait, we have a Zelda on the screen? I know. Are we going to see a change <laughs> up here? I see him hovering over the Lucina, changing the colors. Maybe we're going to see more Fire Emblem characters. Yep, here we go. Swords out. All right, Fire Emblem. Um, I really like this matchup a lot better here because while Zuzu Samus is really good at rush down and putting on the pressure, it's difficult with Rosalina and Luma. She's really good at keeping that distance. Right. Right. And I, and I think the other thing, too, to consider is Zero Suit as a character, she's really reliant in the neutral as far as short hopping and then fast falling with an aerial to play it. And that, you know, for a character like Rosalina Luma, that gets really predictable. He just, you know, you, you farm out a uh, Luma hit and trade it off and then, you know, go on with Rosalina and open him up. In this situation with uh, with Lucina, he can do rising aerials, he can do falling aerials, 
it might be a little, you know, a little more unpredictable for Wadi to, you know, have to solve the neutral game. Yeah, you're so right, Lux. Here we see Lucina, oh, going in for that size air there. Yeah, but, you know, the riddle to the neutral game, you don't, if you don't have to play neutral, you just edge guard them, then uh, that's also an answer, right? Get them off stage and uh, forego the neutral situation and just play advantage the whole time. And that seems to be the case. He's, oh my god, so much damage. I know, you know PL is, might be overthinking this match a little bit because I see a lot more dash dancing happening in this stock. Try to get a counter in and, you know, yeah, the panic options are coming out. He was just not sure. And Wadi being so patient just said, I'll forward smash you for your trouble. And he's on his last stock. Uh, it's not looking good for our hero PL. Oh yeah, when you're up against Wadi, who, who I believe got 17. Yeah. Genesis, it, it is a lot of pressure. So you can see PL trying to think around here and trying to make his way in against Rosalina Luma. You don't want to make a, the wrong mistake here, right. especially on your last stop, right? Yeah, it might be. There it goes. That should do it. Yep. And a swift 2 0 for Wadi over PL. Just business as usual. And he advances on. Wow, what a great fight that was. Yeah, that it might was be a, a quick one. I wonder if that's going to end up being our winner's finals match. Let me, uh, let's check the bracket out here. Because, okay, let's see. Semis, oh, Kira. Oh, yeah, Kira with the upset over, uh, over Razo. Um, and then we're looking at Wadi versus I'm Hip on the other side of winner semis. So that's a, that's a pretty stack. For a local man. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised. I was thinking that this tournament was going to be finishing around midnight uh -huh. right now, but it is around 11 p.m. local time here in Santa Ana. Yeah, right well, wait, yeah we'll, we'll be here. Uh, I mean, the bars will still be open by the end of the tournament, but it will, uh, <laughs> before midnight, we need to get into Thursday morning fights at some point, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> I know, honestly. But I'm glad we, we got a pretty good... Uh, Entrant number right now. Yeah. We have around 100 entrants here tonight. Yeah, been pretty, you know, par for the course. A little over 100 entrants coming through. You know, on a Wednesday night. I mean, I, I know I'm an old man, so <laughs> I know for me tomorrow morning is gonna suck. And uh, I can only imagine being like a high school kid and having to wake up and uh, go to class or even college kid. Uh, man, I do not have work you guys. for some people. Yeah, right? or, or work, you know, for us, uh, you know, older people. <laughs> All right, but. we see MK Leo making his way back onto the stream. All right, right, so yeah, we got the Pride of Mexico and, you know, Kira Flax, uh, at one point the Pride of Arizona, but now a resident of SoCal. So, and.